We want to turn now to Heather Brown, who spent some time today in another tent situation near our live Trump. Hi, Heather. Hey, Don. We were in Mears Park today, one of the rallies, and things seemed to be going very smoothly. But all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I noticed one of those mobile field units rushing towards this woman. I still don't have an answer why, but within a minute, it just erupted all around us. Within seconds of getting to this journalist from Portland, I'm not resisting. Back. cops surrounded her to move her into the street. Move back. As hundreds of people ran over to take pictures and shouted at them. Who are they? What do they look like? Is this the third right? Officers on horseback and in riot gear pushed people out of the intersection they were trying to move the woman to. Maybe three minutes later, really was hard to tell. This guy in pink, though, was still in the road. producer heard him say, I'm not resisting, I can't feel my legs. Within 30 seconds, horses got to this woman. We couldn't hear her either. But later we saw her cry as the crowd chanted. Some of them only calmed down and started to break up when a man behind our van had a seizure. And the arrested were taken away and the cops finally moved down the street. And that man was taken to the hospital. Those three people were arrested. We still don't know why tonight. But, Don, it just shows you how quickly things can change down here in the streets of St. Paul. That whole incident took less than 20 minutes. But when I asked one of our photographers and our producer, they thought it was at least 45 minutes to an hour. All right, Heather, thank you.